and dangerous and deadly drug deals caught on camera. The dealer now heading to federal prison for 35 years. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes shows us the video as he reveals how the overdoses impacted more than just the users. Two overdose victims were in a moving car here on Hyannis Drive when they passed out and their car landed in a neighbor's yard. I just thought it was just some crazy driver driving way too fast through here to, to make it around this curb. These are pictures from the scene, August 2nd, 2020. The driver, who happened to be an off-duty Bell Fountain neighbors police officer at the time, was revived with Narcan. The passenger died. I couldn't believe it. We had three victims in this case. Federal prosecutor Derek Wiseman recently showed jurors the haunting evidence leading up to that crash. It was all caught on hotel and casino surveillance camera. So the investigators were able to do a great job gathering that surveillance footage. Yeah, it's tough to watch. Three drug deals captured on video. The defendant, Leidra Craig, knew just how dangerous, how deadly this was. One sale resulted in this man almost immediately feeling the effects of what turned out to be fentanyl. He stumbles off camera. Another angle shows the victim passed out near the lobby where he was later revived with Narcan. Video outside the casino showed two more users driving off in that red car just as an ambulance is responding to save the man collapsed in the lobby. It's unclear why the users ended up on Hyannis Drive about three miles away. A crime scene photo shows the reported fentanyl on the passenger seat, which turned out to be a fatal dose. Unfortunately, the young man who lost his life didn't know what he was taking, and the evidence at trial showed that he had never used fentanyl before. It's probably a contributing factor to, to why he died. Investigators' discovery of the defendant's ACDC shirt in his home also made it difficult for Leidra Craig to say this was not him. It's our office's priority, and as a Department of Justice priority, to hold the dealers of fentanyl accountable, especially the ones who know how dangerous and how deadly this is, and sell it anyway. Craig, who is 46 years old and from Wright City, was sentenced this week to 35 years in prison. Federal prosecutors also point out the great work in gathering evidence by both the St. Charles County Regional Drug Task Force and the DEA. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.